Hello everyone, let us provide a solution to this interesting famous Olympiad mathematics question. x plus square root of y equal to 11. Square root of x plus y equal to 7. Before you start solving this problem, there are important things you should know. Number one, both x and y are positive numbers greater than zero. Positive integer numbers greater than zero, right? right. And both x and y are perfect square numbers. Otherwise, we wouldn't have integers to the right. So this is very important. And lastly, don't even try squaring on both sides. You will end up complicating the whole system. Instead, let us subtract. If you subtract from the left-hand side, let me start x minus y, x minus y plus square square root of y minus square root of x and this is equal to 11 minus 7 which is 4 right this is x x minus y is the same thing as square root of x minus square root of y multiplied by square root of x plus square root of y do you want to try it this is nothing but difference of two squares take the first time you square that it is going to give you x. Minus, take the second term, square that, it is going to give you y. Therefore, this and this are the same thing. Then, because we have square root of x before the square root of y, I can rearrange this as you plug a minus, you change this to plus, then you switch them, right? This is going to be square root of x minus square root of y. And this is still equal to 4. We have square root of x minus square root of y in common, so let's factor it out. We have square root of x minus square root of y here. From this, you have square root of x plus square root of y. This divided by this is 1, so we have minus 1. And this is equal to 4. But we have factors, <laughs> two factors. So what are the factors of 4? And make sure that you take only the positive factors, yes. Because even if x is 0, or oh, sorry, even if x is um, 1, for instance, because we have learned that it must be greater than 0. So if it is 1, square root of 1 plus square root of 1 is 2. Minus 1 is definitely 1, which is greater than negative. So factors, we could have 1 times 4, or 4 times 1, or 2 times 2. These are the combinations. So if this is 1, then this must be 4. If this is 4, then this must be 1. If this is 2, this must be 2. So let me write it like this. Square root of x minus square root of y equals then square root of x plus square root of y then minus 1 equals the combination. If I take 1 here, I have to take 4 here. Or if I take 4 here, I have to take 1 here. Or if I take 2 here, I have to take 2 here. I want to solve them simultaneously. Let's add up. If you add, this and this will be 0. This and this will be 2 of this root x. We have minus 1 to the right. If you take this first combination, you're going to get 5. If you take this one, you're going to get 5. If you take this one, you're going to get 4. So let's continue here. Um, you take negative 1 to the other side, which is going to transform it to positive, leaving only 2 root x to the left. Equals 5 plus 1 is 6. 5 plus 1 is also 6. 4 plus 1 is 5. Then you divide both sides by the coefficient, which is 2. So root x is equal to 6 divided by 2 is 3. 6 divided by 2 is also 3. 5 divided by 2 is 5 divided by 2. Well, remember, it must be integer. So I'm going to describe this. x will be what? You square both sides. So since we have 3, 3, you can take 1. If you square that, you're going to get 9. So x must be equal to 9. And how can we find y? I think we can use this interesting equation here. Square root of x plus y is 7. So 
already if square root of x plus y is equal to 7, square root of x is already 3. So this is 3 plus y equals 7, which means that y is equal to 7 minus 3, and y is equal to 4. Yeah, remember that all of them are perfect square numbers, so 4 and 9. Can you confirm them? Let's do that. If x is 9, we have 9 here, plus square root of y, square root of 4 is 2. Is this 11? Definitely. You can check it here also. Square root of 9 is 3, plus y is 4. Is this 7? <laughs> Definitely. So the solution to this problem is x equal to 9 and y equal to 4. As simple as that.